Hello guys, and today I'm going to be playing Minecraft Story Mode. First episode, now I already have my own little save, but that's only when I'm off the camera. So, anyway, um, let's just get started, I guess. Oh, this is gonna be pretty good. <sighs> okay, well, while it's loading, I don't know what I'm gonna do. So, play. Um, I'm going to go all the way back here. And I'm actually going to be playing this on. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to be playing this on my Xbox. So that's why it's like connected on my TV. Okay, so you guys are probably like, well, how are you recording it from right here? Well, I'm not actually holding the camera. In fact, uh, I have my own little drum set, so I just put it on this stand right here. So let's just start episode one. And this is going to be pretty good because I have always wanted to record this and a whole bunch of stuff, but you guys were always like, well, Nothing built can last you guys forever. never really responded, so I'm just going to do it. No matter how great faith Hopefully you guys can see uh, the lyric, I mean, With you know, the lyrics year, just a little more bit. More and more details are lost so you guys are just going to have to listen. Sorry about this. Half truth. To put it simply, lies. And yet, in all the known universe, between here and the Far Lands, the legend of the Order of the Stone endures, unabridged as self-evident fact. Indeed, it is only a troubled land that has need for heroes, and ours was fortunate to have, so long ago, four heroes such as these. Gabriel, the warrior, before whose sword all combatants would tremble. Eligard, the redstone engineer, whose machines would spark an era of invention. Magnus the Rogue, who would channel his destructive creativity for the benefit of all. And Soren, the architect, builder of worlds, and leader of the Order of the Stone. These four friends together would give so much to gain their rightful place as four heroes. Their greatest quest would take them on a dangerous journey to fight a mysterious creature known as the Ender Dragon. In the end, the Order of the Stone emerged victorious and the dragon was defeated. Their story complete, they slipped away into the pages of legend. But when one story ends, another one begins. Would you rather fight a hundred chicken-sized zombies or ten zombie-sized chickens? Yeah. Just to be clear, you wouldn't have any weapons or armor. So I'd have to go with the giant chickens. Not because I want to or because I think it would be easy, but because they would be an abomination. Imagine their giant feet. Like I said... An abomination. So, I've got a daylight sensor on the roof. Mm -hmm. And if I did this right, these lamps should turn on once it gets dark. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to just leave Ruben here with nothing while we're at the building competition. He's coming with us. Really? What? What kind of question is that? Of course he okay. is. Okay, I'm not saying he shouldn't come. I'm not. But don't you think it's a little weird that you take him with you everywhere you go? He kind of makes us look like... I don't know. Amateurs. It's not weird at all. Ruben is the best pet I could ask for. Obedient, loyal, and always happy to see me at the end of a long day. No friend. I should have said friend, not pet. I didn't mean anything by...